Uh, yeah, bring it halfway. Hey, what's up, Climber Nation? So we're pulling a peg over here, and uh, I'm with Dave, and uh, I'm going to show him how to use the five to one, the fiddle block. And I thought you guys might like to see the basic setup for that. So the fiddle block is like my go-to for mechanical advantage. It's the one. It's the thing that I use the most. Um, I've been meaning to do a, a video about it for quite a long, long time. So. So you just take it apart here. So if you've, if you've put it away properly, it's gonna be stored like this in the, I would call this like the fully retracted position. This is as small as it gets. Um, so it requires a beaner on either end, as well as an eye to eye. And I like to throw on a micro pulley as well. So um, this is the anchor end here. And this end with the cleat where you pull from, this would be the, the forward end. This would, this end is going to face towards the, uh, the load and that'll give you your five to one. So I'm, I'm using a, an anchor here with the Porter wrap. This just gives me more options. You don't necessarily need a Porter wrap, but it's nice to have. So Dave, if you just take this, you're just going to pop it out of the cam and then just walk backwards and you'll fully extend it. <clears throat> so before you start working with a 5 to 1, you always want to fully extend it. And make sure you have a stopper knot on the end of it so you don't lose your rope. Okay, so there's it fully extended. Now we're just going to join it to our load line. Just hold that for a second. So I just use a, a French Prusik. So it should be like seven wraps, like that. And then what I'll do is I'll get the micro pulley. So I, I set it up like, like a climbing system. And you don't have to do it this way, I just prefer it this way. Okay, so there's my five to one on the load line. Now, Dave, if you take this load line and walk that way, that will take all the slack out of the system. Okay, get it nice and tight. There you go. Okay, so that is our starting position. That's a fully extended fiddle block. Now, if you grab the tail there, okay, and then walk this way with it. And now you're tightening up. Okay. So why it's called, called a five to one is you have five legs of rope that you're pulling you're, you're pulling on the load line with five legs of rope. So it's multiplying your force, your pulling force by five, but the trade-off for that is you have to pull five times the distance. So every one foot of rope that you pull here is, sorry, every five feet that you pull here is moving one foot on the load line, okay? So get that nice and tight. And you do lose, you do lose quite a bit to friction, so it's never an actual five to one but it is a nice, let's do one more, okay? That's good, okay. So I've uh, I pre-cut my notch, and now we've pre-tensioned this. Um, I like to pre-tension it enough to keep it from going the wrong way, but not too much, because it can lead to problems, like barber chair, uh, yeah. never wanna over-tension something. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the, uh, make the back cut, and then I'll step away and you should be able to pull it over. Um, no, yeah, you're gonna stay on the blue. Yep. And just as a backup, before we start cutting, what you can do is you can take the load line into the porty and you can just lock that off. And that's just a backup for the cleat on the five to one. Because right now, the only thing that's holding all that uh, positive gain that you put into the, that, that line is that, that little cleat on the end of the 5 to 1, right? So it's nice to have this backup for the load line as well. Okay.
All right. And you can see how we're working on a hill here. So what I've done is I've added a second rope over to another porter wrap just to stop it from, hopefully stop it from rolling down the hill. Okay, Dave. Give her. Okay, I'll come up and help you. It's fully cut. So what I was saying about the advantage of using the porter wrap as the anchor is that let's say that we maxed out our five to one and we pulled them so that both blocks were, were right back to the starting point. If you didn't have a porter wrap at that point, there's not much that you, you could do to further extend your pull. But with a porter wrap, right, you could take this load line and load it like this, and then you could take the, uh, the, the fiddle block off and then you could re-extend it and do it again. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I don't think we'll need to do that for this, so. Okay. One, two, three. Hold it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Wow. Okay. I'll cut, I'll cut a little bit more, I guess. She's solid. This stem is solid. The last one wasn't. Hang on. Okay. Wow. There you go. Haha. -ha. Nice. So you can see that second rope came into play there at the end. Stopped it from rolling. Right on. Check out the hinge. Yeah, it, it could have. <laughs> right into the shed. <laughs> right on. 
So now you know how to use a 5 to 1. Think you could set that up by yourself? I think I could come close to it, for sure. Yeah, I mean, if you watch enough YouTube. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Right on. Cool. Yeah. Makes it a lot easier to keep the for the corn. Yeah. All right, let's slice this up. All right, so uh, I want to see if you could set it up yourself. <laughs> I love the magic touch you do there, Pat. There you go. Just go around seven times. Yep. And put it back here. Yeah, I'm going to show you without the pulley just to see what what it would be like without it. Without you know, because you don't actually need the micro pulley. It's kind of a fancy trick that I learned online. Okay, so so you're hooked up now. Now again, you want to start from fully extended. Yep. So without the pulley, you're just gonna have to use your hand and just push it out. You oh, know yeah. what I mean? Yep. Um, but you, what you'll find is that you won't be able to push it out as far as you would with a pulley, mm -hmm. especially if you're setting it up by yourself. Yeah. So that's why. Lock that in, yeah. Yeah. If you're working with a with a few other people, you definitely don't need the pulley. You could just have someone hold the rope and someone else push the the prusik up. Yeah. But working by yourself, the pulley is really nice. So let's just go over how to put it away. So just take the uh, take the uh, prusik off there, the eye to eye. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Leave one side on. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to leave it attached to the anchor point. And uh, one thing that's really important about these fiddle blocks is that they every all the parts stay aligned, right? Because if, if it was to get twisted or something, it totally doesn't yeah. work at all. Yeah. So you have to keep all the parts aligned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it under a little bit of tension, and I'm just going to walk towards the anchor, and I'm going to pull slack out, mm -hmm. right? So I'm just retracting it. I'm putting it back to, like, the fully retracted position. So just like that. I would go to there, and then I'm going to pop it off of my anchor. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap it up like a rope. So I'm going to hold the, the top beaner, and I'm just going to start wrapping like a standard rope. Okay, and then whenever you wrap a rope, the finish is, is the most important part. So you gotta keep the finish nice and tight. So I'm just gonna go around underneath the beaner like that, keep it nice and tight. And then it's gonna come through. So you can take a bite and go through, right? And then take another bite on the other side and go through that. And then I can put the tail through that. And that's gonna keep the whole thing nice and neat. In storage, and then when it's when you need it next time, it's ready to go. To cool. Perfect. Right on. There you go. You're now trained in the five to one. On the way. <laughs> <laughs>